it is tabling the 33% uh, women reservation, reservation bill. I am very, very delighted. This is a jubilant day for all of us women of the country. Uh, I look forward to the bill quickly uh, becoming, uh, you know, taking good shape and becoming a law. I hope that we will shortly see assemblies giving fairer chance to women to participate actively in politics. Uh, it's not as if there have never been women candidates who have won, but the very fact that women candidates have a very tough fight against their main uh, contenders in given situations. So therefore, when you reserve a seat exclusively for women, I think it would be the best way of giving women the recognition they deserve. Whether or not we have candidates, I don't think there will be a dearth of talent in the state of Meghalaya. We have women who are very active in all spheres of work. So I look forward to the implementation of the bill. And unfortunately, some men will have to give way to women. And that will be the best thing that we do for this nation and this country. Hesitating. Most male candidates win because of their women's support. That has been established in several researches. It is already researched and already research indicate that. And women will be ready. I have seen men who are very emotional and are thriving in politics. So just let's not find fault at women under no circumstances. In fact, the mind and the metal of a woman can never be matched by a man. We are calm, we are poised, we do not easily display emotions, unlike most men. You look at everything, every indicator in every part of the world, atrocities against women is because men are very emotional. That is a, 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 the basic uh, shortfall or shortcoming of a man's character. But we are not scrutinizing anyone here. No male or no gender is under scrutiny here. This is a grand moment for us, the women of India. Leave it at that and don't underestimate us. We can rise to the occasion and actually perform very efficiently.